Hello, I'm Kimilia and this is Kini News. AMNO has sacked Isham Jalil. The decision was made at the AMNO Supreme Council last night. Isham Jalil has been sacked from the party due to a violation of the party's rules. Three sources who attended the Supreme Council meeting last night confirmed this with Malaysia Kini. The source added that many actions made by Isham have violated the party's rules, including his latest grouses about AMNO's cooperation with DAP, such as his open criticism of the party leadership and labeling of the party as DAP's lackey. Meanwhile, another source contacted by Malaysia Kini said that Isham has missed at least four AMNO Supreme Council meetings. Another source said Isham should have attended the meeting in person to voice his opinion and defend himself. The source said Isham had instead criticized publicly on social media. They added that he had violated the rules and it was right for him to be sacked by the party. Malaysia Kini has been attempting to contact Isham since last night. Previously, in a Facebook video, Isham had said that Malays were rejecting Amno as the party had strayed from its core principles and was willing to act as DAP's lackey in the coalition government. Isham also claimed that some in Amno had turned into DAP's biggest supporters. Ahmad Maslan has reportedly confirmed that Isham has been sacked. However, Isham told Malaysia Kini earlier today that he has yet to receive an official letter from Amno. Isham Jalil said that he had heard the news on Amno's decision to sack him from the party. However, he said he has not been officially notified about it. When contacted by Malaysia Kini, Isham said he did not receive any official letter from Amno until now. However, Isham confirmed that he had been removed from the Amno Supreme Council WhatsApp group. Earlier today, three sources who attended the Supreme Council meeting last night confirmed Isham Jalil has been sacked. The source added that many actions made by Isham have violated the party's rules, including his open criticism of the party leader leadership and labeling of the party as DAP's lackey. Meanwhile, another source contacted by Malaysia Kini said that Isham has missed at least four AMNO Supreme Council meetings. Another source said Isham should have attended the meeting in person to voice his opinion and defend himself. Yesterday, Zahi challenged Isham to attend last night's meeting to air his grouses, but Isham declined the offer. As of 3 p.m. today, AMNO has yet to issue a statement on Isham's sacking. Meanwhile, Ashraf said all the party's MPs and assembly persons will continue to support the leadership of Anwar Ibrahim as the Prime Minister and the leader of the coalition government. AMNO will continue to strengthen and defend the coalition government. This is according to the party's Secretary General, Ashraf Wajdi Dusuki. In a statement after the Supreme Council meeting last night, he said they attest that all AMNO MPs and assembly persons will support the party's stance to support the leadership of Anwa Ibrahim. Meanwhile, Ashraf said that AMNO will hold a coalition government convention in all states from January onwards. AMNO Supreme Council member Isham Jalil had received recently suggested the party cooperate with PAS again for the next general election. He said this following PAS Vice President Ahmad Samsuri Mokhtar's landslide victory in the recently concluded Kamaman by election, which certain quarters said puts him on a path to possible prime ministership. However, Isham's idea has been rubbished by AMNO President Ahmad Zahid Hamidi and fellow Supreme Council member Puad Zarkashi. Yesterday, Zahid said that AMNO is not prepared to cooperate with PAS again. This came after PAS Deputy President Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Man reportedly brought up the possibility of rekindling their PAS relationship. Amana has urged the police to investigate Hadi for equating Harapan to Israel. This was over Hadi's latest Minda President Pass article published yesterday. An Amana leader has lodged a police report against Abdul Hadi Awang. Amana Mobilization Bureau Secretary Muhammad Faridul Amini Suhaimi called on authorities to investigate the past president's statement equating Pakatan Harapan to Israel. This was over Hadi's latest article titled, How Israel and Harapan Followed the Method of the Hypocrites in Fighting Islam. 
He said Hadith Minda President Pa's article published on the party's Facebook yesterday was a lie, malicious and slanderous against the ruling party. Muhammad Farido said what Hadi wrote was seditious against the authority of the Yang Dipertuan Agong, which can jeopardize the country's harmony and create disunity among its people. He added that Hadi's statement can lead to animosity between the rakyat and this is an offense that can be investigated under the Penal Code, Sedition Act, Communications and Multimedia Act and other relevant laws. Saifuddin has again responded to criticism he received for defending an immigration officer who scolded a woman and her daughter in Johor for not being able to speak Bahasa Malaysia. Home Minister Saifuddin Nasution Ismail has responded to criticism after he talked up proficiency in Bahasa Malaysia and linked it to applying for passports. In a post on Twitter, Saifuddin said he had never said that all Malaysians needed to master Hikayat or Malay folklore. He said this in response to Michelle Yesudas, who had said that if Saifuddin wants to make BM mandatory for all passport holders, he has to prove his BM is Sastrawan, Karyawan, Negara level. She then added that it appeared Malaysians would need to have read out all the hikayat. In his response, Saifuddin said Bahasa Malaysia is the national language and there is no compromise. He also pointed out that Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim had mandated the use of Bahasa Malaysia in correspondence involving the government. Previously, Saifuddin had come under fire for defending an immigration officer who scolded a woman and her daughter for not being able to speak Bahasa Malaysia. He had contended that authorities have a reason to be suspicious when a Malaysian is unable to converse in the national language. He added that he hoped parents can understand that every citizen must learn and have a good command of the national language. Yesterday, lawyers for Liberty Director Zaid Malik then reminded him that there is no requirement for a citizen applying for a passport to show proficiency in Bahasa Malaysia. Hillman has announced that he is ready to face the challenge presented via an election petition linked to the Gombak Satya seat. The petitioner had claimed that 150 ringgit was given to several voters in the constituency. The petitioner behind an election petition to overturn Perikata National's victory in Gombak Setia has claimed that 150 ringgit was given to several voters in the state constituency that saw PN's candidate Muhammad Hilman Itham clinch the seat. This is according to a copy of the election petition linked to the Selangor state election a few months ago. Registered voter Muhammad Shafioma alleged the existence of 150 ringgit inducement being given out to registered voters Sri Gombak between August 4th and August 5th. The 40-year-old petitioner also claimed that 150 ringgit was given to voters at Kampung Sungai Chinchin in Kuala Lumpur on August 9th. He contended that the offense per Section 32 bracket C of the Election Offenses Act 1954 was perpetrated to sway constituents to vote for Hillman. From the petition cited by Malaysia Kini, Shafi seeks an order to overturn Hilman's electoral victory in Gombak City on August 12th, costs and any other relief deemed fit by the court. Meanwhile, in a media statement today, Hilman announced that he is ready to answer against the election petition set for a 10-day full hearing before election court judge Abdul Wahab Mohammed from December 11th onwards. In the Selangor state polls on August 12th, Hilman won the Gombak Satya seat with 30,299 votes, defeating BN's Magat Zulkarnain Omardin, who got 30,241 votes, and independent candidate Muhammad Salim Muhammad Ali. And that is all for me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook for the latest news updates. If you would like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Camelia. Thanks for watching.